Hey, you. Yes, you, the one who clearly seems to have burned the midnight oil. I'm so sorry to disturb your recovery, but it's time for us to get this New Year's Day binge started. Now, there may be some of you who are surprised that Netflix would choose this to be the first face you see in 2018. But those are the same people who wouldn't recognize Handsome if it set your house on fire. So dive on in. Distract yourself with this first look at season two of a series of unfortunate events, premiering March 30th. Cheers. Burn them right now! Does this seem like a nightmare? Because that's the effect I was going for. Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on a series of Unfortunate Events Season 2. So we've got our first trailer, and we're going to be breaking this trailer down to the depths, and I'm going to be pointing out all the easter eggs and everything you missed in the trailer. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new for more A Series of Unfortunate Events Season 2 content, because I'm going to be covering it, and I'm pretty sure I'm the only YouTuber covering this show right now that is not just reacting to the trailers or reviewing the episodes. So I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of content so please be sure to subscribe to not miss any of that so this trailer obviously is not your normal trailer the proper trailer starts at the back half of this initial promo from a series of unfortunate events and obviously in tradition with the season one trailers someone has to break the fourth wall and this time it's count olaf introducing us to a series of unfortunate events and giving us the premiere date which is march 30th so we have to wait about three months but it's not that long so i'm very excited i can't wait for season two so yeah let's get into this so in count olaf's initial speech which i recommend you re-watch before you actually listen to this breakdown but obviously in the background you can see that there's the eye on the wall the signature vfd sign which is printed throughout the wallpaper and also behind him is the VFD sign on the window and this could potentially be in the TV show. I'm guessing they're actually going to use this so this could be another base of operations in season two for Count Olaf for maybe two episodes or so but that's just a theory but obviously fire jokes to do with the Baudelaire's and the Quagmires and how everything goes up in flames and also maybe a bit foreshadowing for the VFD fire that will come very soon in either season two or the start of season three and that's when we get introduced to Quigley Quagmire who's supposedly dead at this point in time we think he's dead so obviously later in the trailer we see the quagmires and there's only two and they're known as the quagmire triplets so he will come later in the series but the crow feathers all around count olaf in the scene is a massive easter egg for the vile village I'll talk more about the crows because they have a big significance in the Vile Village episode, which is actually the third book that we're going to be going through because we have the Austere Academy and then we have the Ersatz Elevator and then we have the Vile Village and then we have the Hostile Hospitals and also the Carnivorous Carnival. So we're going to be seeing five books this season, so I'm very excited. But anyway, on to breaking down the shots again. So moving on to the proper trailer, past Count Olaf's initial introduction, we get to see Violet and Klaus actually running out of somewhere. It seems like like this is probably the school that we saw at the end of season one which is Rufrock Preparatory School and my theory as to this scene because we know that the Quagmires will actually get kidnapped at the end of the second episode of season two that happens in the book so I'm supposing it's going to happen so maybe it's them because I know they do chase after the cars if you guys read the book you would know that they chase after the car that has Count Olaf in and he takes the Quagmires so I'm guessing because this is a running shot and you can see the camera panning away it could be that the camera's on the car so that's my theory as to why they're actually running but in the next shot we get to see a shot of some people inside the vile village and this village has the code name vfd and obviously the three letters vfd has a massive significance but it's actually a red herring in this instance because it actually means the village of foul devotees and it's not the actual vfd organization that it actually refers to that the Baudelaire's actually initially think it does mean that so they want to choose to go to the vfd at the start of the vile village episode due to them obviously not living with esme squalor or jerome squalor in 667 dark avenue which would be in the third and fourth episode of season two but anyway moving on to the next shot we get another shot inside the vile village episode and you can see all of 
Count Olaf's troop actually there. You can see the tall guy on the left. We can see Fernald and we can see the weird sisters. And I think that's Mr. Poe. I'm unsure, but it seems like that's Mr. Poe. And in the background, we can see Count Olaf in his disguise. And I think that is Esme because we know after the Ersatz elevator episode, she's going to be following around. So the woman in the blue, I think that's definitely Esme because she looks like the actor who's going to be portraying her. But the next shots are the most important shots in the trailer because we get to see Violet and Klaus with two of the Quagmires, so Isadora and Duncan, and they're climbing up a ladder. And this is from a very iconic scene in the books. And if we quickly cut to the other shot of the scene that we can see from a side angle, you can see that there's a hot air balloon and it's a different version of it. So I will quickly explain that, but the ladder and this shot is actually really, really iconic in the books because that's the front cover of the actual books of the actual vile village book and as you can see the angry villagers are in the background and in the books the hot air balloon is actually called the self-sustaining hot air mobile home and it's actually made by a guy called Hector who actually looks after the kids whilst they're in the VFD village and I think we actually do see him in a later shot which I will actually explain in a minute when we get to that but this shot is really iconic because the self-sustaining hot air mobile home is a really really important scene in the books and moving on to the next shot we get to see the kids and they're actually with who I think is actually Hector who's going to be looking after them while they're in the village and in the background obviously you will notice this it's something very important that you must keep your eyes peeled out for all these easter eggs because with the crows in the background and there's a crow shot next they play a very important part with inside this village and this village is actually infested with crows and it's a signature part of their actual village and you know what they stand for because you know crows aren't seen as a good thing normally. They're seen as a very dark animal and with so many of them actually coming to this village as you can see in the shot, it's just really scary because it's quite intimidating seeing these and I think it's an awesome thing that they're actually going for a lot of the stuff that they did in the book so they're adapting it very well as far as I can see and they did in season one. But in the next shot which is one of the final shots of the trailer, we see the Baudelaire orphans and I'm pretty sure this is in episode three due to the fact that they're still wearing their uniforms and after they've escape proof rock they actually go to live with Esme and Jerome Squalor and they actually live at 667 Dark Avenue and that's my prediction as to where they are right now because it's quite fancy and we know Esme is very rich and she lives in a very fancy apartment and Count Olaf who is actually revealed he comes out of the curtains he's actually in his Gunther disguise and we saw this in the initial season 2 photos he was actually in this disguise and he was meeting with Esme so I'm 100% that this is in episode 3 of season 2 but again a very iconic shot with the kids actually falling down an elevator and this is from the Ersatz elevator episodes later on so past that shot we just got before and obviously they're falling down the elevator so how are they gonna get out of that? Season 2 is coming March 30th so thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please be sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any a series of unfortunate events season 2 content because I'm going to be covering it all here. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Goodbye.